next on Good Morning Carolinas. And Kenseth is live at a brand new spooky attraction in Myrtle Beach, which opened up just in time for Halloween. We'll have the details. Oh my goodness, up next. <laughs> Hey, if you want to get into the Halloween spirit, there's a new attraction in Myrtle Beach that is sure to give you a scare. The brand new Ripley's Asylum features Dr. Norman Kilt and his surgical experiments to treat and cure the criminally <laughs> insane. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth gets the pleasure of getting spooked out early, huh, Amanda? That is right, and let me tell you, I was in here 10 seconds and I already screamed and jumped and this is after hours. I can't even imagine going yeah. through this. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing that you did, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. I've walked through here with working lights on and have scared myself. Yeah, it Crazy. is the, it is it's the frightening yes. but fun. I mean, yes. I love to get scared and we even have some zombies that are still here yeah. hanging out. So um, this place is always haunted. It is all the time. <laughs> and yeah. this is this is new. So people who've been out here before, this is a whole new. It is. It's, I mean, it's still the same building, but we've completely renovated the, the theme of it for Halloween season. Um, the staff went crazy and coming up with ideas, and we chose asylum. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the staff comes up with all these yes. frightening, crazy mm -hmm. things. <laughs> Now, who is this age appropriate for? Who should come? Who should um, come out here? We say no one under the age of six. Okay. Some six-year-olds might be a little afraid, so maybe eight. But there are some six-year-olds out there. I know my daughter would probably be like, "Let's go," but um, you know, no. <laughs> and and some more than six-year-olds are very afraid yes, too. Yes. But <laughs> yes. I am terrified, but you know. <laughs> but, so I'm this is nice. this is open through Halloween. Yes. Yeah, we're open um, right now. We're open Wednesday through Sunday. Close on Monday and Tuesdays, except for the last week of the um, October month. We will be open every day. I I just I can't get over. <laughs> I know <laughs> how creepy these two are. I mean, no offense to y'all, but <laughs> now what's the scariest room? Which room do you just like bolt and run through? Is Me? there a specific Personally, one? Personally, everyone. All of them. <laughs> yes. All of them. So from start to finish, you might be yes. running through. So the uh, one room I really hate though is the dark, what we call the dark room, and it's you just walk in, it's completely black, you can't see anything around you, and you just hear the noises and everything, and then it just it's just terrifying. Because sometimes your imagination is yes. even worse than what's yes, out there. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Oh. Yes. All right, well we're going to venture more through the haunted house and hopefully I'm still alive for y'all to see <laughs> the next time and uh, I guess you can consider it kind of like a morning workout because well, we might be running the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey if anything happens to her we know where to find we her. We know where to find her and it's getting her heart rate up if <laughs> anything right? Yeah there you go <laughs> a little bit of a workout. Ripley's Believe It or Not in Myrtle Beach has opened a new scary attraction for Halloween. Organizers say this asylum isn't like others it is deeper and it is darker than others you may have experienced. WPD News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live in Myrtle Beach with the details. Hey, Amanda. Hey, yes, I am getting my morning workout this morning. If you saw me last time, you saw I was running. And I thought we got away from the monsters, but no such nope, luck, huh? No, no such luck. <laughs> now, you are just as scared or even more scared than I am here this yes, morning. Yes, yes, very much so. And I have been in this place a million times with lights on without lights on i've been around these guys a long time but i still get freaked out well, not even gonna lie. but says a lot about a haunted house yes. when you're here after hours and the lights are on and you still get spooked I, yes every single time even with the sounds off like when the show's off i still get freaked out well it's a creepy place you guys actually had um the ghost hunters here too we right? did we had the um the the co coastal Ghost Hunters or South Carolina, Carolina Ghost Hunters, I think is what it was, yeah, to monitor like any spiritual things. Because you guys were seeing some weird activity. We yeah. were, yeah, some weird activity on our um, security cameras and things like that, just some white blips and some images and things like that, so. So to add to the horror of walking through the haunted house, th this could actually be a haunted, haunted house. Yeah, it could be, yeah. It's so you crazy. could be getting scared by two types of beings here. Right. The <laughs> actors or the real things yeah okay well now I'm even more terrified right. yeah. <laughs> so my suggestion to you is to wear your running shoes yes. because uh, you will probably be using them guys 
Yeah, and it's the age limit. They. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. She just got taken out live television. Hey, no one under six and probably no one over 80, right? Yeah, well, maybe not. We don't want anyone getting too scared. Mm -hmm. uh, that freaked me out, though, about the activity on the surveillance video. Yeah, by the real, way. Uh, really capturing some uh, suspicious activity. Mm. We're live at the new haunted house, Ripley's Asylum in Myrtle Beach, and I found out you're not allowed to run while you're here. Somebody help me. It's that time of year when ghosts and goblins and pumpkins adorn yards across the Grand Strand and the PD. And if you're looking for a way to get in the Halloween spirit, there's this new attraction in Myrtle Beach that promises to give mm. you a scare. That's where we find WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzit live there at the new Ripley's Asylum. How you doing, Amanda? Oh, well, I, first of all, thank you, Jessica, for finding the key and unlocking me. They locked me up. I didn't realize you weren't allowed to run in here. Yes, yeah, what happens when you run. <laughs> okay, so no running. You just have to walk and right. just be scared over and over and over again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, check out these people over here. What did they do to get this sort of torture? Um, they ran and... They ran. <laughs> <laughs> they climbed on some things to get all away from the creepy people. Oh. Um, what haven't they done to get to deserve this, I guess? So I actually lucked out because I got to escape yes. from being yes. in the dungeon yeah. there. But you're lucky that I was here this morning. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Whew. All right. Well, you need to be here when I come back at night when yeah. this is actually going on. No. What time does this start up? Does it start up during the day, in the evening? During the week, it um, starts up at 4, and then on Saturdays and Sundays, it starts up at 1. Okay. And for locals, they get half off, right? They do. It's half price of the general mission. So. Okay. Half the price, double the scare. Is yeah, that pretty much, much yeah. what it is. That yeah. sounds great. Yeah. That, that's about true yeah. um, because we've been scared all morning. Yes. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun and there's no better way to get in the Halloween spirit, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> They're crazy. They're crazy. No, they don't actually touch you, but they, can they get don't. Close. They get really close, but they are not allowed to touch you. So don't be too frightened. I mean, seriously. And uh, you, <laughs> everybody so far. Well, at least at least half the people have made it out alive, right? At least half. At least yeah. half. So you've got Jeez. you know a fifty percent chance of making it out of here. Right. So I'm I'm crossing my fingers that I'm in that yeah. lucky fifty percent this morning. Yes. And uh, you recommend at least six years old. To At come. least six, yeah. We don't allow anybody under the age of six. Okay, so. you better watch your hand. It oh. might um, disappear yeah, right cool. there. Yeah. Now, 50% make it out, but not necessarily with all your limbs. So, you know, you're taking your chances, yeah. but it's going to be fun because who loves to be scared at Halloween? I do. I do. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> At your own risk, yeah. folks. Yeah, but they can't touch you, and it's like what I used to do to my sister when I would torment her, you know. Oh, yeah? Put my finger, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't touch you, so... Mm, well, be careful. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like fun. The Ripley's Asylum in Myrtle Beach is brand new. It is not for the faint of heart mm -hmm. and not for kids under six, <laughs> but uh, it'll certainly get you in the Halloween spirit. Yeah, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live there at. Uh, are you scared yet, Amanda? Um, you could say yes, definitely. I've been scared all morning. This has been like two hours of yes. frightening stuff. Yes. I actually. I, I had to go to the bathroom and I had to walk through a hallway alone and I was a little scared. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to find my way back or not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> There's a lot of hallways to get lost in. But <laughs> yes, it is. It's like a complete maze. So, you know, you have to follow the people that you go through. Now, do people go through in groups or we do, by themselves? Yeah, we s no, we send them in through groups and they go in a single file line. They kind of put one hand on the shoulder in front of them. Okay. Type things. If you're the last person, all the prayers go to you. Good luck to you. <laughs> yes, first and last is always, you know, right, always yeah. a rough spot In this to be case, in. mostly the last the person. Last. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I'm going in front of you if we go That's through fine. anymore. Yeah. yeah, and they said no running. So, you know, you just kind of have to walk through and be scared. Kind of quickly, yeah, and be careful not to trip on anybody. In yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we talked about y your scariest room is the dark room, everything yes. is complete black. Yes. And we went in there, and it wasn't even complete black, and it was still really scary. Yes. <laughs> I told you. Yes. Yes, it is. And it's just all new, uh, the asylum theme. Mm -hmm. So pretty exciting for people who maybe have been here before. Right. Um, we talked about at least 50% of the people make it out alive, right? At least. At yeah. least, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your odds are about 50-50. It's like a coin flip, so you may as well come try it out. Why not? It's Halloween. I mean, why not? You yeah, know? it's a lot. And uh, we're in what room now? This is the dining room. This is the dining room. Yes. Okay, all right. So um, I was sitting down dining earlier. And, uh, uh, so we have...
have an uninvited guest? Yeah, kind I of. I mean, yeah. that's oh, pretty much to be expected now yeah. a days um, yeah. in here. And there's someone else too. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna yeah. get going out here. Yeah, oh, I would. Yeah. Oh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> no running, Amanda. Yeah, yeah. That's what you got locked up <laughs> earlier for. And then you saw Keith. He puts the camera down. And runs. Our cameraman runs out after. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> They're both running yeah. for their lives. That's silly stuff.